Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Your return is a testament to God's faithfulness, and the power of community. May the Lord bless you abundantly, keep you in his perfect peace, and lead you in the way everlasting. Recently, Jesus Christ has conveyed a message, and today we want to share that message with all of you. We encourage you to pay attention to the guidance of the Lord for a more fulfilling life. We hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest notifications. Join us and listen to the video until the last moment. Type Amen if you believe, may the Lord always bless you. Before we get into today's message, let us pray together, offering our petitions to God the Father, O Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, whom you sacrificed to save us, your pitiable children, from the fires of hell, please hear our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls in the warning. We implore you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to return and embrace your merciful heart so that they may offer the necessary sacrifices and repent before you. Amen. Our Jesus Christ has conveyed his message, Beloved children, on the day of the celebration of my mercy, I invite you to contemplate this prayer. When I speak to you about my mercy and justice, some tend towards extremes, perceiving me as an all-forgiving God or allowing everything to pass. They believe that mercy encompasses weakness and transience. As the embodiment of justice, I am neither unjust nor indifferent to the pain of those who belong to me. Mercy does not diminish my greatness, I am an infinitely powerful, supreme, omnipotent, and omniscient God. You are living in the last days, and countless unforeseeable events await you. In a week in June, the sun will dim, extending night by an additional 16 hours globally. Darkness will linger longer that day, posing challenges to visibility, leading to a loss of direction, reduced spatial awareness, and difficulties in navigation. The psychological impact of darkness, associated with danger and the unknown, varies among individuals based on their experiences and beliefs. In some rooms in your home, something special is about to happen. The blessings of my son will manifest, and sometimes, your room will be illuminated with a miraculous event. To prevent this phenomenon, plant these blessed flowers in your home to receive the blessings of the Redeemer and store sunlight for darkness. Tub Brothers, Myrtle, Cory, and Pink Lady Slipper are lucky flowers intimately connected with my mother and me. They will shield and illuminate the environment around you in dark times, serving as signs for your prayers and hope in my protection. I encourage you to participate in daily prayer at 8 p.m. in the presence of these flowers to receive my blessings. In doing so, a miraculous event will take place in your home. These flowers will emit a fragrant aroma, as if the love of God is spreading in your family. Therefore, your dwelling will be enveloped in blessings and positivity, playing a role in warding off darkness and evil. Our Jesus Christ conveys his wisdom, my mercy surpasses what seems impossible for humanity to overcome. What mankind cannot comprehend is within my knowledge, and I extend forgiveness in my unique way. Every action and decision originates from my love, my justice, and my mercy. Human judgment often lacks mercy, leaning towards convenience. Beloved ones, Understand that my justice is merciful. Those lacking in mercy will be ensnared in the fog of pride and deception. I call upon you to pray, draw near to me, and become renewed entities in my love. I desire your transformation to bestow upon you my gifts and virtues. Human existence tends to prioritize trivial matters, 
overlooking the deeper needs of others, needs beyond mere financial concerns, including a lack of Christian education and understanding of the scriptures. According to the will of the Lord, my mother and Archangel Michael, the supreme commander of the angels, provide warnings to help you prepare and avoid getting lost. Now is the time to strengthen your faith and turn towards my sacred mercy. I am your Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, our Jesus Christ has mentioned tub brothers, emphasizing the symbolic meaning of flowers in Christianity. Flowers such as roses symbolize the Virgin Mary and sacred love, lilies symbolize purity and resurrection, conveying profound meanings. In Christian tradition, plants and herbs hold special significance, like the Christmas tree symbolizing the birth of Jesus and the use of palm branches on Palm Sunday. Therefore, these four types of flowers should be planted indoors to dispel darkness. Now, let us unite in prayer. O Holy Archangel Michael, have mercy on us sinners, those who seek your intercession. Rescue us, servants of God, from all visible and invisible enemies. Strengthen us against the terror of death and the shame of demons. Present us humbly before our Creator in the hour of awe and His just judgment. O great Archangel Michael! O sinners, do not despise us, who seek your help and intercession in this world and the future. Make us worthy to glorify the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit with you forever. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Your presence here is a gift, and we're sincerely thankful for it. If you found value and inspiration in this message, we encourage you to extend your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Together, we can spread God's love and teachings to even more hearts in need. May the Lord continue to bless you abundantly, keeping you in His perfect peace, and guiding you in the way of everlasting joy.